All right, so uh, this is going to be Libra Sun, Moon, and uh, as well rising a weekly career and business style reading February 10th uh, to February 16, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're going to find a link to my website as well as a uh, link to your other video of the week which is focused on a love and relationship. So in terms of business and career, the first card here points to the topic of the week for you guys, that is to be the star card, followed by the next one, which represents the uh, energies which are supporting the topic itself, that is to be the justice, followed by the next one, which stands as the uh, challenges that you will, you will have to overcome. For throughout the week here, we have the three of pentacles, Moving forward, it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week uh, in terms of business and career, that is to be the Six of Wands. Followed next, it is how your colleagues are going to take on you, how your boss is going to see you, your, su your supervisor, that is. We have the Two of Cups. And the last one here, which is the guidance that Tarot is offering to you, Libra, in terms of business and career, that is to be the uh, Knight of Swords. And wow, it's going to be such an amazing week, guys. Uh, so we move to the first two cards, which are straight away they are fantastic business cards, uh, especially of how they stand. So energy wise, we do have the justice. And as the justice stands, energies of the week in terms of business and career are going to direct you exactly into those enterprises and those endeavors that you are to be most productive at. Not to mention that in business and career, those energies are going to keep your time management in check. So you're going to always spot on in terms of how much time you devote to certain thing, how much effort you devote to it as well, and it's the result to it are going to be reciprocal. Meaning that ultimately, at the end of the day, if you do a good job, no one can deprive you from the results of that good job, all right? Or if you give the uh, appropriate time into it, once again, no one can deprive you from, uh, uh, from taking the fruits of your labor. And uh, that itself is going to be a very important starting point that you're going to have here of manifestation of the star card, which is a, about the uh, topic and the team. And the star card, when we do have a, the uh, for a um, business and career, it is a, about setting up the bar. So you're going to set up a, a bar into the company you're working at. Uh, into the business that you're working for, into your own business, not to mention it's fantastic for private businesses. That means that you're going to set up a, a bar which everybody will want to be a part of. So you're going to attract a lot of clients, all right? You're going to have a, a lot of orders, for example, that week, February 10th to February 16th. Or in other words, you're going to do something a, amazing. But uh, the star card as well allows you to think for the future. This results that you're going to have throughout this week in terms of business and career, once again, are going to make you think big about the future itself. Not to mention as well that the star card points to the tough times that uh, have uh, put your career under stress, that have put it into turmoil, are literally going to be over. And the star card also points that you're going to have a support, unconditional support from your colleagues. We can see that as well into the two of cups here, into the fifth card of the spread. But we're going to go there in a minute, guys. And also a followers. So sh long story short here, with those two cards that week you are going to do a fantastic job into your career you will be able to manage whatever is thrown at you and you're going to do it with finest you're going to be subtle about it and as well very very productive which will allow you to raise yourself above the situation if you will see everything like from an ego's view and have the luxury to plan your next move, have the luxury to decide how you are to move forward from now on 
in terms of a career development. So next one, it is the challenge that you will have to face throughout the week and that is Three of Pentacles. So Three of Pentacles here, challenging wise points to challenges into cooperating with people around. Now, while you are going to while you are going to have the support around, the bar that you are going to set is going to be so big that very few people will be able to meet the level of expectations that you're going to have in terms of them being a, a part of your project. And that bar itself is going to limit as well the room of error or the margin of error, the margin of mistake. And at some points you may face certain criticism and that it is because, you know, your own actions are going to predispose a a bit of a, how can I say it, a, a celluloid expectations into your customers, into your supervisor, into your uh, boss as well. It is like your good work, it will be also some sort of a, a, a curse, if you will, to yourself because everybody will expect that you're going to do everything without making a mistake and you're going to do it even better than they are expecting. And when they see what uh, something that goes close to their expectation they're gonna say mm -hmm, all right so uh, it will do but i think you could have done better right so that will be the challenge itself for you that you will have to overcome here all right that maybe you are not going to see that wall factor from the others around because they are so get used to have it with you that they just don't that you you constantly have to surpass yourself in order to achieve the same wall factor from the uh from the people around and uh yeah that's uh, that will provoke a certain criticism that is i think a bit unnecessary so your uh, say your supervisor is going to criticize you for something that even they can't do it as well as you can do it okay but still because they are expecting so much from you it's like uh, it will be uh, if i have to be honest it will be rather bullshit but still you will have to endure it and that is also a challenge that you will have to face and the last challenge for you guys it is about um maintaining a relationship among you and among your colleagues it is just it will be like it will seem like you are on a different planes because you are going to be on a different planes you are going to be on a different levels here and it will be very difficult to find a common points or a, yeah, a common topics even to maintain a harmonious flow there in between the relationship of you and your colleagues, of you and your super supervisor, or you and your boss as well. Next one, it is about the uh, gifts and the blessings that uh, you are going to enjoy throughout the week. Only one way how we can tell to the card here, guys, it is a success. Uh, it's just that is the gift and the blessing that you're going to enjoy. Whatever you do, whatever you touch, whatever uh, tasks or whatever, uh, how can I say, it, enterprises you have to perform throughout this week, they are going to be successful and you are to be recognized for that and also rewarded. OK, and um, at the end of the day, if you do need help, with uh, one or another uh, another task that help is going to come around that is also here engraved into the gifts and the blessings uh, that you can enjoy throughout the week in terms of business uh, in terms of business and relationship and uh, moving to the uh, moving to the other card here it is a about how people are going to take on you what kind of an impression you are going to leave into the people and that will be the two of uh, cups so people are going to find you very humble and uh, someone who cannot stand um, stress and oppression when it comes to uh, when it comes to business endeavor. So, in another words, here, if you have been given a task, if people or your boss say wants to see that task that task being uh, see, seen through. Uh, they will have to just leave you alone with it. Yeah, they will have to leave you in peace with it so you can work out your magic here so you can do your part in it and so you can 
basically push it through now additionally to that uh, with the two of cups people are going to see you very very friendly and also they are going to see you as a, a very uh, as a person who still uh, who exerts a calmness into um uh, into the environment of the job and into the environment of uh, of the business itself so uh, needless to say here it is that more and more people will kind of have a strive to work with you in a certain project or into a certain tasks as well and that itself is going to be provoked by your personal standpoint that you're going to be always open as well for a cooperating with the people around but once again don't forget the challenge here it is that you are going to operate in a different level so they will have a very very rough and hard time to keep up with you and to keep up with your pace and that is why in the two of cups the two people are reaching into one another so everybody has to do their part into reaching for another so you can make the link meaning that if they are not on your level you have to bring them there if you um if you want to work with them continuously moving forward uh into the future or if you do want these people to be a part of your team you basically have to teach them you have to show them and you have to make them uh make them you know compatible with the job that you are dealing and you have to help them to be on your level and the last card that we do have it is the guidance here in terms of business and career for you libra and that will be the knight of swords so um whatever task whatever task or whatever enterprise you are to face throughout the week whatever project you are to face throughout the week uh you have to face it with uh, the strength and agility of your mind this is a business okay this isn't some sort of a uh, love affair this isn't some sort of a, a competition as well this is simply once again a business so your emotions should not be in the business your emotions should be with your family your mind has to be in the business and therefore whenever you face um and an operation that needs to be performed regardless of what you feel okay you have to approach it in according to the business standards and to give you an, an example of it uh back in the days there were that movie called uh i do believe uh drag me to hell what was called and there was that old crone which was asking for an extension of the loan that she was uh, having to the bank uh, regarding her house but that was the fourth extension i think that she wanted to so the the girl that was supposed to decide on the extension she really felt for the for, for the old lady but that was against the rules of the bank so that is what I am talking here. You have to face it according to the stipulations and the rules that your business is providing and not in regards to the uh, moral norms of our society. That is the guidance if you do want to skyrocket further into your career. So be professional, not emotional. That is all that is asked here. Okay, so that being said, this was your weekly career and business tarot reading Libra. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below. And there you're going to find a link to my website and as well a link to your other video, which is uh, focused on love and relationship. Hopefully we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye.